So you like acid loops? Well, if you want to make some of your very own, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Remy Brown with Acid Pro 101. In our last video, we talked about acidized wave loops, commonly known as acid loops, which Sonic Foundry figured out a way to add metadata that affect the audio in three major ways, pitch, BPM, and transient points. We also looked at some examples that specifically showed us how this is done. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make your own acidized wave loops. And most of this can be done right in your own Acid Pro DAW. I'm going to open up this Temp 111. This is a pretty big song. This has got a lot of tracks. All right, here we go. We got the track loaded up here. I love with acid that I can just move things around, move things out of my way so that I can actually work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these drums. What I did with this track, because I had so many tracks that I'm working with, I've actually got these set up under folders. So what you can do is you can right click right here, you, you insert folder track. And what that does is it, it sets up a track, but it really is just a folder that you're gonna then place all of your tracks. If you've got a bunch of tracks, like this one has a bunch of drums. So like whenever I expand it out, I put all of these tracks under this folder that I've got drums. So you can adjust the volume and stuff there these are all rendered and I'll show you how to do rendered files and stuff all right here I'm gonna let you just hear a little bit of this song just so you kind of get a feel of what we're working with and I'm just minimizing this stuff up a little bit so you can see let's just hear a little bit of this Anyway, so it gives you a feel kind of this song that I was working on. This track, whenever I was making it, these drums and stuff I was making has kind of almost the little Prince vibe. Hopefully you can tell when you go back and listen to these drums now. But listen. This is what I was really talking about, having that Prince kind of vibe to it. And then I had live rooms like kicking in here too. Okay, so we're gonna just do it here. Do you wanna save changes now? Typically, ACID sets things up in A for the key. You can set your BPM. Typically, whenever you get started, it starts it at 120. So I'm going to just leave it at that. The project was actually done at 130. Just go in here. It's a new project. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to go back to this file. I'm going to double click on it. All right. So then we're going to start bringing it out here. Let's get the whole track out here. Now, to make loops, what I'm going to do is use this loop section area. And then I'm going to figure out the size of the loops I'm going to make. If they're going to be a four eight bar loop so let's listen to this let's see how that's already different right there so probably let's see I can't remember I think I want to think this is where we want to do them from Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S right here to split, and then I'm going to move this one down to the next track. Now it's going to make it louder. Did you see how that was already, that that wave file is different than this wave file, so we know we, we don't want to make duplicate loops, but we want to, but anything that's different, we want to keep it. So. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna mute this one. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna hit split. Then we're gonna move down here to this next one. And we're gonna look right there. That's different. Let's put this room right down here. Let's see, we're looking at that. That's the same. So we don't want to keep this one. Unless we were going to make a like a longer loop. See the same thing. So we're gonna get rid of that. Still the same thing. Now this one has hi hats, so it's different. So we want to keep this one. We're gonna hit split there. We're gonna go to the next one. Now this one looks like it's doing the same thing as this other one. So let's get rid of that. One. Same thing as the other one. You don't want the same room. You know, this one's so different. See, this one's different. Okay, so we want to meet that one. different element so we want to keep this one now this one's different this one's got drums and stuff going on in it minimize this One has Tom. So we want to keep it. That one has two snare hits. So we want to keep this one. Anything that's different, you know, then, then it justifies keeping that, keep that loop. Now, sometimes, even if they're not repeated right after each other, they could have been repeated somewhere else. So we may have to go back and look at that. are different type of columns so we want to keep this one just minimize 
optimizing it to make it easier to to see all these tracks. So we have a lot, making a lot of loops here. This one you can see already that that was a different. Two, this one has two extra snares right here, so we want to keep this one. Let's see, we're back to our other beat here. different than this one. So we want to keep this one. We visually look at stuff and we listen to stuff. Okay, these both sound the same. So we're not going to keep this. Now this has a different kick. I'm going to keep this one. This has different kicks than this one does. So we want to keep this one. So we can give people that want to have this loop pack, give them, give them different options of, of variations of beats and stuff. Now, And this is because I'm really trying to go through this. I want to go through this whole track and get pull out as many nuggets, nuggets of loops as I can find. Already got this drum pattern a lot, so split it right here. Take that out and again. If you're trying to wonder, like, what is he hitting to do that split? I'm hitting the S key is your friend. You, you can split up things and cut things really quick by using the right click button to delete. It makes it really easy and fast. And you, the more you start learning little hot keys and stuff, it really does make your job a lot easier and makes things a lot faster. Look at this, we've got 30 samples right there that we're working on. We've still got to go back and do a lot of work to this. We're going to name these, we're going to do some other stuff to them, but at least I've got this, I've got 30 drum samples that I'm going to be working on to have for drum loops. 
So as you can see, there is a process and it does take a little bit of time to get this together, but once you figure it out, it will get a lot quicker. In conclusion of part one of this video, just want to show you that you have to cut up all your material and then there'll be next steps in the process. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can take those loops and then add the metadata that you need to and how to normalize and finalize these before you finish the loop process. So I can't wait to talk to you again. This has been Remy Brown with Acid Pro 101.